the Focusrite Sapphire range. The only interfaces with Focusrite Pre's. Focusrite, the interface company. We're here at the AES show in New York with Ronnie from Waves. He's going to show us the new noise suppressor. Now this is an interesting piece of software because it gives very serious results, but it's not too difficult to use. So, how do you achieve this? Hi, I'm Ronnie from Waves, the product manager of WNS. Um, WNS is actually a Waves noise suppressor. It has six gain faders that can suppress uh, the noise. It has one large threshold and one control uh, uh, for smoothing that control the gate uh, characteristic of the attack. Now, the way it works is you just play the audio. Uh, you can see in the large display a uh, curve that we suggest you to place the fader on because this tool has to work uh, quickly and without messing, uh, wasting too much time. You can just press suggest it will shoot the faders to the location that we think the fader should be. Further tweaking can be done manually from that point on. You can a little bit bring it back, uh, catch some faders uh, independently, and bring back the, if, if you took a little bit more uh, suppression. Uh, what a nice feature that we have here is uh, regarding the display. Right now, the old six faders are correspond to the same location at the display, meaning this fader uh, affects 99 uh, hertz as at this point. Uh, this will affect 3627. You can set the frequency area by using those two values. If I take this higher, the, ba the frequency area that I'm going to work on, and these uh, six faders will reflect that, is this from now on and the portion above and below uh, are passing through or you can cut them out, Okay. basically. Uh, uh, you can use this on advanced mode and you can, if you know the exact frequency that you have problem with, um, you can narrow it down by using those values and set a certain fader to affect that frequency. Okay. So the idea here is to minimize the artifacts that you get with most of these noise exactly. systems. Exactly. Um, we designed this uh, uh, plug from scratch. Uh, it's not related to the other restoration uh, plugs that we have or the Xenoids. Uh, it's right down from the scratch, tuned for vocal and spoken words for post. And um, the artifacts, are we try to keep them at a minimum. I so, yeah, go yeah, ahead. I presume we can also use it with musical instruments, though, if you have a noisy guitar track or something? Uh, it will work, yes. but we have to, I mean, the person has to uh, uh, bear in mind that this is tuned for vocal, for spoken words. Uh, what this tool does is once it gets the audio, he listens to the audio and determines what's noise and what's spoken words. And then these uh, six faders and the entire plug uh, can reflect on the noise and suppress it by uh, leaving the voice and spoken words out okay. and not destroying them. Okay, so it assumes that it's a vocal sound, it knows what kind of spectrum a voice should have exactly. and that way it can determine what component is the broadband right. noise. Right. Oh, it's excellent, it should really speed up post-production. I hope. <laughs> and music, of course. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Ronnie. You're welcome. Thank you.